Yo, what is up gamers, it's your boy Dino, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now I did say before, um, as promised, I will make a video on the BEF method or workaround for the BEF glitch on the Xbox. So here it is, okay? Now unfortunately I don't have both perspectives of both consoles, so I'll explain to you what you'll need to do and stuff like that, okay? So obviously you need to get your components, uh, as you would before. I'm not going to go through all the details of your merging, but um, I'll do a little quick tutorial on it. So obviously I want to put the gloves on my outfit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put my console 1 outfit with no gloves, which would be this one right here. And my console 2 with the grey digital, and in my merge slot, slot 20, my uh, racing gloves. Okay, so I'm going to have the Israel Parachute bag. I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Once I've gone ahead and put it on, I've got the auto save. All you want to go ahead and do is head over to Netcut. Now with PlayStation we usually go ahead and just put it on, but this time you want to change it from MB to KB and then go ahead and put it to console 5. So where it says unlimited, you want to go ahead and click 5 just like you see here and then click the blue uh, Wi-Fi signal box. Once you've clicked the blue signal box or click enter, your internet box will then go red on your console. Okay so from here that's your console 1, now you want to go ahead and hover over console number 1 outfit in your style section. From here load up console 2 when you go on to open and log on to it. As soon as you log on before you go on to the game all you want to go ahead and do is find your console IP for your console 2 and do the same thing as console 1. So change it to KB and type in 5. Once you type in 5 and click enter it will then disconnect your internet from your um, console number 2 and you're then ready to go and load into an online session. So once you go ahead and click that internet box uh, for your console 2, load into story mode, okay? So log in first, disconnect your internet by putting to KB instead of MB and set it to 5. Then when you're in a single player session on your second console, go ahead and disconnect just like so. If you get the alert, do the same steps as before, uh, go ahead and reconnect, go back into story mode and then disconnect when you're in story mode. And if you don't get the alert on your Xbox, go into an online session. Go ahead and change your outfits, stuff like that, and quit the session. Once you're ready and back onto a single player session on your, uh, when you've done your single player session on your console 2, head back over to Netkit, uh, Netcut, reconnect your internet for console 1, and then go ahead and change up your outfit, okay? So it's pretty straightforward. Now, I did get that bit confusing for some people for the Xbox, this is for Xbox only workarounds. I'm going to say it again. Get your save on console 1 as you see here. Go ahead and connect to Netcut on your console 1 shown with the correct IP with your correct console. Uh, go ahead and change it from MB to KB. Click in unlimited 5. Click enter. Once you've ahead and done that, turn on your console number 2. Log into the same account. Go ahead then before loading onto GTA 5, disconnect in the same options as console 1. Change it from MB to KB. Click 5, enter. Then load onto GTA 5 Alliance, uh, story mode. Uh, once you're in story mode as Michael Franklin or whatever, go ahead and reconnect. If you get the alert saying your player is on both consoles, cancel it. Go ahead and reconnect or disconnect your internet again on, on Netcut. Change it to KB5, enter, go to single player session. Once you disconnect, it should be there, it should be off. Go into online, change your outfits up, and then go back and quit session. Once you've quit the session, log out and quit the game. Go back to Netcut, reconnect your internet for console 2, get an autosave. Leave GTA 5 online, back to online. Go to Crooked Cop, merge your gloves together. And it's pretty straightforward. Obviously, it takes a little bit more time for the Xbox players, um, as but the PlayStation is obviously just straightforward and easy. You already know how to do a tutorial on that, otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this. But um, if you have any sort of problems, I know it's a little quick tutorial, I didn't have both POVs, unfortunately. I did the best as I could with this one. Um, hopefully this um, helps you out. If it did, please do go ahead and drop a like on it. If you have any sort of questions at all, or you want to buy some Xbox outfits on the Xbox, please do contact me either on my Twitter, which is linked in the description. Um, you can go ahead and go over to, if you don't have Twitter, my Instagrams is over in there as well, Dino, also Dean Robs HD. That is all linked in the description, so go ahead and check that out if you want to buy some stuff. If you have any questions at all, 
or if you guys don't have any of those social medias my discord is linked in there as well okay you can go ahead and join that i'll answer as much questions as i can and uh yeah you should be sorted to go okay so once you're in crooked cop obviously once you've got your merged stuff together put a rebreather or an earpiece on quit the mission through your phone now when you spawn back online you should have the outfit all merged together obviously you carry on doing the same steps to complete your outfits change your components for your tops blada blada make your whole outfits unique and dope all right so again i hope this this tutorial i know it's a little quick one um but I did the best as I could with the only POV I've got because unfortunately I've given my Xbox, my other Xbox to my brother, which he's got right now, so I couldn't have the time to record both POVs. But hopefully I explained it well enough for you guys to understand. Um, if you have any sort of confusions with this, um, please do just go ahead and pause the video, do step by step, and you should be sorted to go. Make sure you go ahead and follow the same steps as I did with Netcut, otherwise your console won't work okay it, it won't like disconnect or anything like that okay so that was the tutorial today guys um long time coming i needed to post this so here it is out of the way i hope you enjoyed it i hope the tutorial helped any questions you know where to find me have a lovely day i'll see you all in the next one peace out guys